Elephants are incredibly unique creatures with their massive size and mental intelligence. In fact, a herd of elephants will never leave one of their own behind. While all elephant species are currently endangered, many do still live freely out in the wild with their herd. However, the wild presents far more danger than a zoo. So when one herd's youngest member fell into a mud pit, the herd tried everything they could to save the drowning baby elephant. Unfortunately, no matter what the herd tried, the elephants could not save their family member. Soon enough, animal conservationists arrived on the scene and began helping the drowning baby elephant. However, they could have never predicted what the elephants would do afterward. The rescue workers had never seen anything like it before. This story takes place along the gorgeous Uralanthani River in southern India. Around the beautiful river, thick forests serve as a sanctuary to a local herd of elephants. In the forest, these majestic creatures march freely and uninterrupted as the humans in the area greatly respect and appreciate the elephants. One day, the elephant procession was making its way across the Urlunthani River when something quite out of the ordinary occurred. You see, recently, one of the herd's females had given birth to a beautiful baby elephant. However, while trying to cross the river, this little elephant ran into quite the challenge. Because babies are not accustomed to crossing rivers, the trek quickly turned dangerous. While we often think of elephants as massive, this little baby was just one-sixth the size of a fully grown adult. When the herd started crossing the river together, the baby elephant lost its balance, slipped, and fell into a hole between the river and the land. As you can imagine, getting out was not an easy task. To make matters worse, the hole the baby elephant had fallen into was full of mud and had started to fill with water. Due to the slippery sides of the mud pit, the baby could not get out on its own. Meanwhile, the herd could not enter the pit and help the baby up due to their gigantic size. While saving the drowning baby elephant was paramount, the herd had no idea how to do it. The mere act of fighting to try and escape from the mud pit exhausted the drowning baby elephant. Meanwhile, once the herd realized what happened, they began to panic. As its family started to panic, the baby elephant began to cry in anguish, sending the herd into more of a flurry of anxiety. Suddenly, the entire herd started to join in with their youngest member, crying out and stomping around. It almost seemed like they felt hopeful that a human would hear them and come to rescue the drowning baby elephant. However, unfortunately for the little creature, its long day was just beginning. Several hours had passed, and the situation was not getting any better. Even before any humans arrived, the drowning baby elephant had already started to show signs of distress, hopelessness, and fatigue. Unsurprisingly, the herd was also in pain from watching their little baby struggling to keep itself alive. So the rest of the herd stood in a circle around the mud pit. While they could not do anything to help save their little family member, elephants never leave another behind. As the baby's eyes started closing out of exhaustion and maybe imminent death, the herd collectively began to trumpet with their trunks even louder. This time, their cry of anguish was heard across the forest. With time running out for the drowning baby elephant, the older members of the herd began sending out intense warning sounds. You see, whenever elephants meet danger or are distraught, they heave out a distress signal that resembles the sound of a trumpet. The deafening noise was just as heartbreaking as it was loud and terrifying. For those within earshot of the call, which included many of the local townspeople, they knew that they could not ignore the elephants. Meanwhile, the elephants had no idea if anyone had heard their call. All they could do was wait, cry, and hope for someone to come. Thankfully, the local community had begun to hear the noises. At first, they couldn't figure out where the calls were coming from or what they meant, so they decided to ignore it. However, as the frantic braying continued, the people understood it wasn't just any old noise. Clearly, something was wrong. So, with the calls for help too loud to ignore, many townspeople decided to join together and investigate. After listening for a moment, the group realized that the calls were coming from the forest, less than a mile from town. As the group began entering the forest and moving closer, one human began to recognize the calls as elephant calls for help. Still, they knew they had to push forward cautiously if they wanted to help. 
As the herd brayed and the townspeople approached, the drowning baby elephant felt a ray of hope shine upon him. Not only did he realize that he wasn't alone, but also that he was loved and cared for. At that moment, the baby elephant gathered the little strength he had left, desperate to make it through the awful situation. Once again, the young elephant tried its hardest to pull himself out of the pit to no success. You see, the hole was just too deep for him to reach the top. In fact, when it seemed the baby had finally managed to reach the top, it slipped back down into the muddy hole with a loud thump. If he could just hold on until help arrived. Before long, the locals reached the river and the strange noises became even more deafening. Soon enough, they started guessing the sounds came from a herd of elephants, but they still didn't know why. Could a wild beast be attacking them? Still, they continued to move forward, even if some of the townspeople felt some fear. Usually, untrained humans should never approach wild animals. However, while some of the villagers understood that an angry group of elephants could present physical danger, they needed to see what had caused the ruckus. After all, many townspeople viewed the elephant herd as part of their home. Now that they had eyes on the anxious herd, the villagers moved even more carefully towards the mud pit. When the townspeople first arrived at the Erlunthani River, they had no idea what was happening. All they could see was the herd of elephants braying and anxiously pacing in a circle. However, as they got closer, the villagers spotted the drowning baby elephant in the hole. That's when they realized that the herd was quite literally screaming for help. While humans are a lot smaller than elephants, they were also not physically capable of getting the weak baby elephant out of the pit on their own. Once they realized that, they decided to call for help. After all, the authorities would undoubtedly have the right equipment to rescue the calf from being trapped. Rapidly understanding the situation, the villagers knew they needed to act quickly, so some of them rushed back to town to ask for assistance. As nighttime promptly approached, the drowning baby elephant had already become quite weak to the point of not moving at all. The calf simply lay quietly inside the pit as if accepting its doom. While some townspeople went back to get help, others stayed behind to keep an eye on the situation. Every second that passed was precious and everyone knew they were running out of time. Hopefully, those who had gone back to town would return with help quickly. Before long, the locals spotted headlights approaching from a distance and they started to feel a glimmer of hope. What's more, even the elder elephant seemed to understand that help was definitely on its way. Fortunately, the rescue team had finally arrived at the scene. Instantly, the locals started helping, clearing a path for the rescuers as some of the elephants paced around anxious. However, incredibly, none of them showed any signs of violence towards the helping humans. It was almost like everyone, men and creatures, understood that the correct help had finally arrived. Now everyone was on the same page. It was time to save the drowning baby elephant. The rescue team that arrived consisted of wildlife conservationists and forest officers. Before long, they asked the locals to step aside so that they could do their best to help. Then they managed to move the herd back a few feet, giving the team plenty of room to work. When the rescue team finally managed to take a good look at the drowning baby elephant, things seemed worse than ever before. You see, they quickly realized they could not handle this problem on their own. They would need some seriously big equipment to get it done. Unfortunately, it seemed like the baby elephant would have to stay there a little longer. An entire night passed with the baby elephant stuck in the mud pit. None of the animal rescuers nor the herd went anywhere. Then the next morning, everyone heard a loud rumbling coming from town. It sounded like massive vehicles approaching. Sure, more help had arrived. However, this time, the new team members decided to bring a huge excavator with them. Still, even with the giant machine, saving the drowning baby elephant would be a challenge. They needed to figure out a way to use the excavator to help get the calf out without hurting him. After 24 hours, many wondered how much longer the baby elephant would be able to survive. The first step in the rescue project was clearing a workspace. However, this became one of the hardest parts of the whole ordeal. As you might imagine, the elephant herd did not want to leave the drowning baby elephant. Instead, they frantically moved about, wanting to keep an eye on their youngest member. However, the team felt determined to do whatever it took. Still, clearing a workspace was just the beginning. They needed to make sure that every single move made by the construction equipment was right. After all, while the baby elephant was larger than most adult animals, the construction equipment could still hurt it, or worse, kill it. Every millimeter counted. 
overnight, the mud in the hole had dried around the baby elephant, leaving it drowning in nearly dry dirt. Even worse, it could barely move. So when the rescue team started running the excavator, they knew they had to do so carefully. While not amateurs, even the tiniest mistake could prove fatal. With extreme caution, the rescuers began digging around the area, first to widen the hole, allowing them more access. After hours of digging, they managed to open the mud pit enough to begin the next phase, removing the drowning baby elephant from the hole. Unfortunately, this would take many, many more hours. With the hole now wide enough to start the rescue, the team began once again asking locals for help in their efforts. Some of the strongest town people were asked to help carry the elephant out, while others were assigned to monitor the rest of the digging to make sure the baby elephant was not hurt. Fortunately, they all felt willing to help the calf. Like it had begun, the rescue had turned into a collective effort. Everyone in town wanted to see the drowning baby elephant safe once again. After all, the village thought of the elephant herd almost as neighbors. Meanwhile, the rescuers were grateful for the help that the villagers offered. Nearly 48 hours had passed since the baby elephant became trapped in the hole, and none of the elephants had left the scene. While all the machine's noise and vibrations were a disturbance, the wild elephants appeared to stay calm. In their own way, they were helping by staying calm. Still, even with the equipment, the animal rescue officers could not have completed the rescue without their other helpers, the local townspeople. While the stronger folk offered their physical assistance, others went to provide food and drinks to those participating in the mission. Meanwhile, the sight of the pack of elephants keeping a united front while waiting for their youngest family member inspired the rescuers to move forward. Just when the rescuers could start to see a way of saving the drowning baby elephant, the excavating machine stopped working. The silence was deafening and heartbreaking. It seemed like the last straw. While the operator tried to restart the engine several times, it simply refused to cooperate. Luckily, one of the locals was an expert on engines and soon offered to take a look at the machine. When the elephants realized what was happening, they started to trumpet in unison again. In fact, the rescuers had to get closer to the calf to assure the adults that it was still holding on, giving it food and drink. Fortunately, the drowning baby elephant refused to stop fighting for its life. The man who offered his help moved as quickly as he could. He understood that the clock would not stop for the drowning baby elephant. However, it was not a simple engine job and there was no quick fix. As more volunteers stepped up to help with the engine, the elephant herd once again began to make strange, loud noises. While the group of local volunteers worked on restarting the excavator, others went a step further. They decided to start digging with their hands and shovels. As they did, the herd became more anxious and started pacing back and forth as they brayed. So other locals tried to calm them down. However, humans feared that they would attack them out of desperation. Everything seemed to be falling apart. Suddenly, the excavator roared back to life and the crowd cried out a celebratory cheer. Now they started working on the final part of their plan, creating a sloping trench that helpers could use to push the drowning baby elephant out of the mud hole. Finally, after nearly two days, the animal rescue team could see the finish line. Within a couple of hours of restarting the excavator, the team managed to finish widening the hole and creating the trench. Then one of the rescuers, with a heaving push, helped the baby elephant back up onto land. The team had done it, with a little help from machine and animal, of course. Now safe, the baby elephant rushed towards its mother. The minute the baby elephant escaped the hole, it rushed off to join its mother, lovingly touching tusks. Once again, the herd suddenly gave out a thunderous cry, but this time it wasn't out of sadness and fear. Instead, it was on appreciation and delight. At that moment, many of the locals realized just how much love animals like elephants are capable of showing. Beforehand, the townspeople had viewed the herd of elephants like neighbors down the street. They never interacted much, but the locals never wanted any harm to come to the elephants. Still, everyone felt filled with joy and happiness as they watched the baby elephant reunite with its herd. No one knows if animals like elephants really feel gratitude or if they know how to show it. However, something happened that day that made the townspeople really wonder just how much elephants are capable of. Believe it or not, after the humans saved the drowning baby elephant, much of the herd turned around to face the rescuers. 
Then they waved their trunks, giving out more trumpet sounds, but this time they sounded happy. It was as though the herd was giving the townspeople a final salute and thank you. The villagers could not believe their eyes or ears. After the incredibly long two-day journey of rescuing the baby elephant, the herd seemed overjoyed with excitement that their family had reunited. What's more, some of the villagers shed a tear while watching the herd slowly walk away with their little one back into the forest. It was something that they would remember for the rest of their lives. As the elephants walked away, it seemed like nobody was ready just yet to leave the scene. The townspeople and animal rescuers all stayed watching the herd. After all, it was the very first time many had witnessed something so amazing in nature. None of them would ever forget it. After saving the drowning baby elephant and watching the herd head into the forest, the rescuers all congratulated one another from their fantastic achievement. They laughed and cried, all happy that they had not lost an animal's life that day. Still, the celebrations could not compare to the salute from the herd they received. As the happy townspeople made their way back to town, everyone knew that what happened that day would burn in their memories forever. Many wondered if they would ever get that close to wild elephants again, or if they would want to. However, while they hoped nothing like that would ever happen to an elephant again, the locals felt grateful that they had experienced such a magnificent moment. Crossing a river was actually not uncommon among these wild elephants. In fact, they had done it about a million times before. However, after seeing what had happened to their baby, they knew they had to be extra careful the next time around. After all, they didn't want to spend another two days in agony. From then on, the baby elephant who had almost drowned was always positioned in between the bigger ones, with the parents constantly keeping an eye on their precious calf. Meanwhile, locals would come back from time to time to watch them from afar like some grand show.